All right, welcome back, you fabulous little crypto knots, crypto miners. Uh, today, uh, we're going to talk about another useful resource that you can use to kind of estimate what hardware you have and what algorithms to mine and what the uh, current profitability of those uh, said hardware devices could be. Yeah, we already showed you and talked about the nice hash profitability calculator you know where we put in the uh, cpus gpus and it kind of showed you what the daily profitability could be on nice hash with the electricity costs and all the full breakdown for the day for the week and for the month but first but first for reference we are at 15 december 2023 and we have to look at bitcoin price we have to all right, we're at 42.153, big daddies. We're kind of hanging up there, going up and down, up and down. Uh, since the kind of the uh, feds, they held their rate steady. I don't know why it's really tied to Bitcoin. It makes no sense to me. It should be totally decoupled. But uh, Bitcoin brought, it rose a little bit, but then it's been hovering about 42,000. One thing you will notice if you have been watching the videos, what's missing here? I'll give you five seconds. What's missing? What is it? Crypto Jim. Crypto Jim, say it ain't so. No, Crypto Jim, you didn't. No. Yes, I did. I killed ETH. No, I didn't kill ETH. I killed Litecoin. <laughs> Shows how much I like ETH, right? So Litecoin is gone. I couldn't take it anymore. The ratio percentage of performance based on Bitcoin's movements was just nothing. It makes me believe it's kind of dead. And I could have sold this a year ago or maybe this year for like higher in the hundreds. And before that went up to 400. Again, you got to know when to take profits. This stuff is not going to keep going up, 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 up. It's going to go up and come right down. So you got to be careful with that. I got sick of it. I did a, um, I just wanted to swap in kind for Bitcoin, man. I'm just stacking those Satoshis. I want that Bitcoin. I don't know why I took the Bitcoin Kool-Aid. Based on my experience, I've had a lot of altcoins, crap coins, had a lot of wallets out there with all these things just floating around. Some were ETH based. And it's like, I can't move them because I don't have enough ETH to move them. You got to pay like 80 bucks to move four bucks. It's so stupid. And then if you're trying to swap ETH coins on the Ethernet network, on the ETH network, you have to have a minimum. It's such a waste. So you have all these little little coins bags of coins which over could add up to hundreds of bucks but you can't do anything with them it's ridiculous so i just said man whatever i got doji coin boom hit the road jack litecoin you're out you are now bitcoin you are now bitcoin i can just watch it i know i can sell it on most exchanges i can sell it on fidelity i can sell it on coinbase Gen uh, genesis is that the other one i've never used gemini yeah i don't know about binance uh have not been on that in years but that's where i am at anyway let's get into it wasting enough time talking about it boom look at this guys you guys probably know about this if you're an og if you're a gpu miner you probably can just stop watching you're not going to get anything out of this this is just for people that are curious how to look at the hardware you have based on your electricity costs and the algorithms out there this is another great resource called what to mine It'll help you understand the ecosystem, the crypto eco space, the domain. What a great tool. So anyway, let's run through a little use case and we'll have some fun with it. So you go to whattomine.com and you get all the little stats up top. Bitcoin's at 41.8, down 2%. Uh, ETH is at 20. What the hell? What is that? I don't even know the symbols, man. Ethereum Classic. Ethereum is at uh, 22, 29. Hey, is anybody staking? Proof of stake on uh, Ethereum, are you making any money? I don't understand it. After the mining died and they went proof of stake, I just lost interest completely in Ethereum. I have a little bit of it. I don't know what to do with it. I might exchange it or swap it to Bitcoin as well. And there's old Litecoin, boo. Litecoin disappointed me. Now watch it go up to a million bucks. <laughs> do the opposite of what I do, you might do all right. All right, so in this case, what you have up here is you have all your hardware up here. This is mostly GPUs, but you get the idea, right? You can customize it. What I did, I when I just what I did, you click your hardware. I have a 6600 XT. I'm just gonna put one in just to keep it simple. 
But if you have a 6800, a, what else, 2070, 1660s, it goes up to 3080s, 3060s, you get the gist. Look through here. And you get the idea of what is out there. Now down here, you get the, the um, hash, the uh, algorithms for this, uh, for this uh, possible card that it'll run well on. So insert hash rates. All right, let's, let's close this once. Oh, it just populates a base, base in card. So right, if the device is not selected, right, it's all, all, all zetted out, all zeroed out, right? You hit this puppy, say 6600 XT. Again, just a use case. Uh, let's see, now watch the settings below. Boom. This will show you based on each algorithm, the expected hash rate. So for our use case, uh, I have everything set with nice hash. So I'm gonna turn on a 6600, point it to nice hash, and let nice hash do its benchmarking and find the most profitable algorithm. And it's gonna be either Octopus or Kapow. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Octopus is at zero, so I don't think that's even gonna do anything. I think it's gonna go to Kapow. <laughs> and then there is the current mega hash per second rate I should expect to get. And then that's the usage, 110 watts. Uh, the CPUs for reference, the Ryzen 9 3900Xs burn about 85 watts on the motherboard. So I'm not counting the other stuff on the board. So it's just the CPU is burning 87 watts. So there is a good comparison right there. So mark that down. All right, you can go down here too. Same with the nice hash profitability calculator. You can put in your electricity cost. Mine is 11 cents. At one time, it was almost uh, 18, 19 cents due to the uh, economics of the current regime in power. Woo! Yeah. Uh, here we go. You put in electricity cost. You picked your um, you picked your device, and you can just hit calculate. Blammo. All right, it's going to go through. Let's see if it changed anything. 16, 110 watts, blah, blah, blah. Here we go down. And now, here, I'll just read. Let's read together. Crypto Jim, read to us. It's crypto story time. All right, guys, have a seat, grab some popcorn. Crypto Jim's going to read you a story. All right. Using below table. Ooh. All right. You can check how profitable it is to mine selected altcoins in comparison to Ethereum Classic. Oh. Please note that calculations are based on mean values. Therefore, your final results may vary. Your mileage may vary. For best results, fill all fields with your hash rate and power consumption. Default values are adapted for 3, 30, 70 cards. All right. Again, it's a ballpark. If you don't know your stuff, go figure it out. You can get your electricity cost from your power bill statement. You can get your hash rate by just running a miner on this stuff and say well it says 16 crypto jam but i'm really only getting 14 so you put in 14 right but that's what you could expect maybe if you overclock it i don't know for each algorithm if you're not new to this or if you're not new to this if you're new to this for each algorithm there are recommended overclock settings per device it just it's a whole spreadsheet out there you can google it uh, at the time it was Ethermine, here's the uh, overclocks to set for your 3080, your 3070, your 3060, and so on and so on and so on. And it does make a difference to make those things run optimal. And you won't really fry your GPUs. People go, was the card mined on? I think playing games on is rougher than mining sometimes. All right, enough of that. All right, we go down, we read the little story, we come down. Here are the algorithms. <laughs> we got Ryo, and it shows you you're going to get a whopping. Look at that. Look at that. 42 cents on that card. That's pretty bad. Yeah. You can go through all the stats right here. It's mega hash. Uh, rewards. What do we got? Exchange rate. Okay. Trade Ogre. Again, one of these one off exchanges, man. I don't want to have accounts on every freaking exchange. All right, next we have nice hash, which is interesting, kapow, bam. And then this is about 42 cents, same. And then you got all the other ones, gaidoge, nara, based on the kapow algorithm, algorithm. So they're all based on the kapow algorithm, most of them, not all, but most of them. And it gives you an idea, you're making 39 to 42 cents. 
and it goes on so on and so on let's just scroll down and you got zell hash 26 cents this is gpu i'm talking about that's pretty bad oh my god z hash 25 cents oh my god and then this i think i think the bottom doesn't really tell me i think the bottom one here is after electricity so let's go back up you're getting 42 cents blah 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 and i they don't really tell you oh profit okay yeah i think that's after electricity cost has to be 24 hours three days seven days pro rev dollars profit all right that's my guess makes sense if you're paying that much in electricity and the wattage because you saw the wattage for kapow where in the heck did it go 110 yeah that makes sense i think you're burning a lot of it in electricity so 42 cents profit minus electricity 21 cents that makes sense now you haven't even counted your exchange fees to move that freaking crypto you mine somewhere else boom blammo then if you sell it move it back to an exchange to dump it another exchange fee maybe unless you moved it to an exchange directly to dump it you're going to pay taxes on that 42 cents you made the government wants their money and they want to send it overseas to help other countries not ours so yeah remember that all right let's keep rocking so that's it go check this little web page out now let's get into our little use case okay section three of the video all right uh where are we oh my god i lost it there it is number five here we are looking at my windows 10 rig yeah windows 10 i'm sorry uh oh side note i did run I'm, i'll make a video i did run the nice hash os with a cpu same rig i plugged in the usb memory stick with the os nice hash os on it it booted up i ran a benchmark the kilohash per second came out exactly the same as what was running with windows using nice hash minor the only difference was the temperature was a little higher because i could not figure out how to overclock the cpu when it was running in the nice hash os there's probably something there i just didn't see it i know they have it for gpus for optimization maybe i just forgot to select the cpu i don't know but again ran the same performance wise temp was higher why because on windows 10 i would use ryzen master to set the voltage lower it to keep the temps lower that's the big difference so if i could figure out how to do it on nice hash os that's the same option same difference if you hate windows that much but what's what's nice is with the memory sticks so if you're on hive os nice has nice hash os ubuntu boom put it on a memory stick and you also have your windows sdd it just makes it multiple booting you can pick whatever flavor you want to run on your motherboard on your rig based on your uh, mood yeah how's that sound all right so what we did here you can go in this is nice hash os i have a radeon 60 600 xt 8 gigabytes gpu and what i did i know kapow is on nice hash because again i saw it over here on what to mine right here blah, blah, blah. all right hold on one second we're using our pointer now i always forget the pointer bad jim bad crypto gem boy amateur hour here guys amateur hour all right back look at that blam blah 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 all right so i went through i knew kapow was here and basically i looked at oh nice hash kapow so i figured i'm just gonna do a benchmark on that right good enough let's go back to my rig blammo we are back to my rig and uh kapow right here and what i made sure is i had in my plugins I made sure I had a bunch of GPU miners. Miners, I do GPU as well. So I made sure I had NB miner, LOL miner, G miner. XM rig is for mostly CPU, but you can, I think you can use it for, I think, yeah, I think you use it for GPU. I just can't remember. I think you use it for GPUs as well. I think I have it everywhere. Uh, or was I using, G I was using them all, man. It's a, it's a blur. So for right now, CPU mining, I'm using XM rig. And then for this case, I think it's NB miner for this GPU. All right, let's go. Let's go back to benchmark. I was there. So all I did was I started a benchmark, right? It, ran, it went through and came up with this number, 14.255 mega hash. So that benchmark, what 
my expected hash rate would be based on the default settings of the card. I have not overclocked this card at all. It is out of the box, not out of the box, it's, it's reset to factory settings. Yeah, after I mine some of these cards, I just reset them back to factory, make sure there was no weird stuff in them, and uh, they run fine. All right, so I did the benchmark, and I'm gonna get 14.255, but, but Crypto Jim, it says you can get up to 16. Yeah, but I'm not. All right, let's go back to five. 14.255. Let's do this. 14 for Kapow. 14.255er. Blammo. Now we got to hit calculate. I got my electricity in there. And we're going to hit calculate. All right, let's see how this affected the Apple cart. Where was my Kapow? 110 watch it. Woo! Oh my God, it dropped Kapow down, 37 cents. So Ryo still is profitable, but you're taking them 21 pennies. Oh my God, look at these. You're taking this home. So Kapow dropped down, any more nice hashes in here? Negative. All right, negative Ghost Rider, negative on that. We're gonna go with it anyway. Nice hash, Kapow. The pattern is full. Let's go back to number five. We have devices. Everything stopped. I'm not running the CPU. I just want to do uh, GPU mining on this just to see how this all works, right? I'm going to go back to dashboard. I'm going to hit it. You guys ready? Let's do a countdown. Three, two. All right. I hate countdowns. Just do it. Oh, it's going to benchmark again. Sometimes it does it each time. I, it's probably a stupid setting in nice hash that says do not benchmark each time you hit mine. Start. All right, let's get rolling here, Big Daddy. Let's let it benchmark. Let's have fun with this. So we're gonna go over here to my dashboard. Look at that, 204, oh, 206 bucks. And I'm getting about five bucks a day. Woo, that's pretty bad. Oh well, nothing good lasts forever. All right, where's my rig at? Where is it? Oh no, it's not nice hash OS, it's number. Oh, the way for it to come up, where is it? It's not in my list yet. That's my old OS one. I don't care about that. So if you don't like a rig, you're not using it anymore, remove it. Goodbye, rig. All right, let's go back up. And then two, I don't know who's running. Two, is two the one I want? There it is. I don't know why it's two. <laughs> I name it five up here. That's my Google remote in, but then the actual rig name on the uh minor is too i forgot to change it anyway so we got uh 6600 running right here eight gigabytes it's still coming up to speed and i'm gonna do something you can do uh up on the three buttons here do this you can isolate it sometimes what is going on here You can go, um, it's kind of a little bug there with the pull up, the, the pop up. There we go, rig details. And then it isolates that rig. And we're right here. And it's running MB Miner. It's mining right now. Let's go double check. Five. There we go. Any errors? Kapow, kapow. Oh, it's actually reporting a better hash rate than when it benchmarked initially. So 15.31. So given that, let's go back here. To Kapow, 15.31. 15.31. And hit hit McCalculate. See what happens here. Ooh. So Kapow moved up a little bit to 40 cents, Big Daddy. All right. There we go. See how, see how you do that? You kind of fine tune it based on your numbers. So let's go back to five. All right. Ooh, we're getting some numbers. So these are initial reports. Which is a better layout here? Uh, da, 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 41 cents. Is it the same layout? 41 cents. Uh, same difference. Current profitability is 41 smackaroos, 41 pennies a day mining this Kapow algorithm, which is right here based on, their, based on that hash rate. Oh, uh, let's see. No errors, no warnings. It's 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 out there rocking. It may it may uh go up and down a little bit per hash rate. 
as it does as it keeps mining. You just gotta watch it. So let's see, we're getting 41. Again, this is right off the bat. Let's go back here. That's yeah, pretty accurate, 40 cents, right? And then, yeah, wow. So 40 cents. And uh, let's see, let's go back. And that's before electricity. So let's go back here. I'll change the name of this to two. It's, it's worker names two. I wanna make that five. So there we got that. Let's go back to dashboard and we're showing what? Uh, 15.15. Let's see if this reports the same. A little bit different. Again, it's, they're not completely in sync between the dashboard and the actual locally running nice, nice hash miner. So I don't know if it does some munging of the numbers to you know, round off or whatever. I don't know. So let's do, is there a refresh option? There was a refresh option, maybe not on this page. I'm looking, I'm looking, you guys see it? Tell me where it's at, I don't see it on this one. All right, let's go back to the dashboard. Let's go back to the mining. Let's go here, Rocket 2, 14.83. Let's see if the fans are running, it's not, oh. Very interesting. I wonder why my fans are not running. My fans should be on. So I think I have to go in here because I didn't set any settings on this card. Boy, it's been a while since I did this. So let's go in here to the card. Device details. It's mining. Fan. I changed the fan. AMD rate. All right. And select miners and algorithms. All right. Dismiss. Optimize. And I'm going to select the Radeon 6600. Boom. Selected. Overclocking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. OC profile. Oh, there's a fan speed. You can mess with this. Let's go. Uh, it's at 50%. Let's go up to 100. I'm going to see if it kicks in. Save new. Oh, let's go apply and test. Apply and test. I'm waiting to see if the fans kick in. Hey, that worked. <laughs> I cranked my speed up to 100% on the fans. Hit apply and test. It looked over at the rig and the fans are spinning. Oh, it's testing. Okay. It's testing the overclock on the fans. Save it. Ba 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 ba. This is just a test. I just want to see the interaction. So you can do a lot of this from the dashboard if you know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing now. You just got to play around. I always like the fan spinning just to keep things cooler. So that is running. Testing should have stopped. I saved the profile. All okay. Save settings as a profile. I did that. Oh, extra launch parameters. What is that? I have no idea. Can't read FLP not available. Okay. It's still testing. Let's go do a refresh over here. Close this. Mm -ba -ba it's gonna refresh right now. I hit it. Alright. Oh, there's the test. I probably want to hit that. I hit test again. <laughs> anyway. Point being, you can actually adjust this stuff. And let's go back. I'm going to try something now. So there you go. You're, I'm at 1509 now. Let's go see what we're at. Uh, what did I put in here? 1531. All right. It's going up. It's going down, right? It could go sideways. It could go up. It could go down. It could do nothing at all. So that's where we're at. Let's go do this. I'm going to stop this once. And it says 15. Yeah. So it is actually updating on the dashboard to be sort of accurate. So at 42 cents. Yeah. So it is all matching up to what what to mine gives you as an estimator. So very powerful tool. You have hardware, you're curious what you can do with it, which algorithms to mine, which pulls. This is probably one of the better spots to go to and just check it out. Whether you can get paid in Bitcoin on these, that's, that's something you gotta look into on where you can actually mine this thing. You just gotta click through. I'm not gonna do that in this one. So I wanna do something different. I'm just am so curious right now. 
Let's stop this. Let's go to devices. I'm going to turn on the CPU as well. I'm going to go back to dashboard. Let's fire them both up. Ready? Boom. This, oh, then that's the uh, G minor that, I mean, the X, XM rig, stupid little error. Let's see if I can get around that. I'm going to pause them both. Give it a sec to get those electrons evaporated. I don't know. <laughs> uh, gee, all right. No more error. MSR mod error gone. You just got to, you just got to start it, restart it. I think it's a race condition or permission issue with uh, based on um, virtual memory or something like that. Just my guess. Wild ass guess. All right. Both of these are starting up. Woo. So there, you know, I'm getting as much on the little AMD 5 CPU as I am mining Kapow using a more beefier device, a GPU 6600 that burns a heck of a lot more electricity. So that is the problem there. You're better off doing CPU mining right now on this algorithm. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go back to dashboard. All right, mining. I don't know why it's still testing. Stop testing. I think I screwed this up. I went into testing mode. <laughs> I wanted to stop. Ah, oh, well. So we're running again. Let's go into optimize. Let's go into rig. Oh, there, 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 there's that bug. If you're high up on the screen. There we go. It's not going to give you the full pop-up. That's probably just me. Probably user error. User error, Crypto Jam. Learn what you're doing. Op optimize. I'm going to optimize. Oh, why can't I do this? This is funny. I thought maybe I could select the CPU and do some overclocks. You can't. I am so confused by that. There's got to be a way to set some of the CPU settings from the dashboard. I don't know. I'm just an idiot. Oh, it's still testing. Duh. Stop the test. <laughs> Yeah, this is how you learn. You just you just fumble through it and then maybe read the manual after you fumble through it for a couple hours. All right, I stopped the test. I already named it. I already named it. I don't need to name. I don't need to save this again. I already saved it once. Let's put a Oh, that's a, Let's do 80%. Apply test. Uh, I'm going to Stop the test. Does it revert it? Oh, it reverts it. So let's do 82. Save new profile. It's, it's, it puts the spec in there. Uh, test 2. Save it. All right. Let's get out of this. Better not be testing. Okay, good. Can I run a profile against this? Select miners on device details. Select miners and algorithms. All right, that's not what I want. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Anyway. Yep, my fans are up to speed. Nice. And is this thing even mining? Why am I still in testing mode? I really honkered this up. <laughs> Let's go back here. I'm going to do a force refresh, big daddies. There we go. It just wasn't updating. So 15.21, and I got my little Ryzen 5, my little, my little engine that could, little baby Ryzen 5, 1600, six core processor. He's mining as well. Can't tweak anything. My fans are spinning. I'm happy. And I wonder if they reflected on five here. Uh, that is XM rig. I want the, uh, this guy. Fan. Come on. I'm looking for the fan. I want to see if it updated here. You see the fan? I don't see it. Uh, let's see. Fan zero. Okay, I'm not seeing it, even though it is, it is spinning right now. Uh, anyway, you get the gist. So, point being <laughs> of this whole thing is you can initially go to what to mine, put in your device, boom. Your uh, 6600, it'll come down and show you the uh, algorithms for it. 
And then uh, you can put in your hash rate if you don't know it, put in your electricity cost, and you can go benchmark over here using that, your miner. Boom, get your hash rate. Go back to what's, what to mine. Uh, for that algorithm, put in that hash rate and your, um, if you know your wattage, you can probably get it from using hardware info on Windows to find out what your actual watt usage is. But let's change it. Let's change it to um, CPU wattage levels. Watch this. So wait, before I change it, we're at 40 and 11. Watch it blow up. 40 and 11. All right, 40 and 11. Uh... Yeah, so the second row is electricity cost profits. So after electricity cost is what you're taking home because it did go up when I lowered my electricity wattage from 110.85. It jumped up from 11 to 17 cents. Not much, not much, not worth it because <laughs> this thing's generating heat right now. This 6600, this little red devil, this little red devil is generating heat even though it has nice lights on it and all that crap. It's just heating things up in here and I don't like that. And it's a lot noisier than a cpu but i guess i could go mine it on ryo i don't care now i'm not going to do it i just wanted to show you this tool and oh my god 31 minutes in woo all right yeah i want to show you this go check it out you can use it for any gpus if you have a newer gpu knock yourself out it gives you a warm fuzzy where to set your stuff well uh, blah 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 let's see what pools to use which algorithms to mine etc and then you can go proof it if you want and that's what i did i just wanted to verify it worked and then this kind of does uh, also went into showing you how you can actually do overclocks and nice hash you just got to go into the optimize does not do it for cpu so i don't know why yeah we're running a 15.2 it's mining profits are down for all my rigs seven bucks a day eh, it's fun it's not i'm not yeah it's not going to get me anything other than stackings uh satoshis so uh, 0.004 that could make me a good billionaire one day or it could just make me someone that has a fractional share of Bitcoin that I can do nothing with. <laughs> Remember, it could go up, it could go down, it could go sideways, or it could do nothing at all. All right, on that note, I'm out. Hope this helps. Let me know what you guys use. Are you doing GPU mining? And if so, how's it going? Uh, I sold most of my rigs. I have CPUs left and just doing it for fun. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. Stop in now. Hey, where's a dog? Rocco. Hello, doggy. All right, time to take the dog out.